Welcome back to Let's Play Yemeniki. As you can probably tell from the fact that, it's, well, I don't know actually, maybe you can't tell, but it's been over a month since I did the previous recording. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> just like big delay. So, we left off with only one left to find, I think. No, let me just try something here. Start it again. Well, I could figure out part of that, but I think it's probably C major, I don't know. I've since, you know, last time I played this, like, found a tab, well, a collection of tabs in one, showing, like, how to play some of the, uh, well, the musical parts in this game that aren't, you know, just kind of drone, 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 ambient, ambient, things like. Basically, it's just third fret on the second string, and the fourth fret on the... Uh, fourth string together to make that. I just kind of like play it multiple times, like kind of add to it by own. And then it's the fifth fret on the third string, then the seventh fret on the third string. For a more straightforward thing, I've, the tabs on game tabs, I found it. Also, this one as well, which is quite neat. Nope, I always mess that up. You know what? Let's just get on with it. Oh, yeah. You know, I've since actually wrote a song uh, inspired by this game. I don't think I mentioned it because, well, I don't think I'd actually wrote the song when I was actually recording last. So, this... 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 And so many eggs. So I think this will probably be the final part since there's only one to find. And then I'll like do a bonus part, just kind of look up how to uh, get the extra stuff, you know, because there's some stuff that I haven't stumbled upon. Which door led to that one place? Is it this one? I just wanted to do that so I could see if I could actually play in time with that one. But anyways, I think I know where the... It's the umbrella I think we're missing. I think I know where it is, but I'm unsure where it actually is. So that kind of like contradicts it, doesn't it? Pretty sure it's in Puddle World somewhere. Uh, yes, um, what one was it again? Yeah, B. Forgot, it's just like, you can definitely tell now that I haven't played this game in quite some time, just like, bicycle of course. 
I'm assuming that the umbrella is here somewhere. But where, I have no idea. This place is kind of difficult to navigate around. Well, not really. It's more of just... There isn't really much to see. Where's that lead again? Oh, it leads out of here. What? Window scheme changed! Holy shit! It actually worked! So it's like you've got an extra heart. What's the point in that? Uh, no purpose whatsoever, I don't mean. That's neat. I like to ride my bicycle, I like to ride my bike. I don't know where I'm going, I'm heading back because I know that I'm going in the wrong way. But screw it, let's go in the wrong way, let's go the wrong way, why not? We might stumble upon something that I've overlooked. Because I was right when I mentioned ages ago about, like, how the game probably doesn't have you explore every little area, every little secret and all that to uh, complete the game. All you do is collect the effects, which doesn't take you everywhere. So, you know, just like wander around, exploring. But I'm pretty sure we've already been here. Head back to Puddle World, I suppose. It's got to be here somewhere. Puddles, 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 puddles. Oh, there it is. Umbrella! What's the umbrella do? Well, of course it'd make it rain, wouldn't it? Neat. I don't know where the door is. This place has no real landmarks to really tell where I'm going. Ambient soundtrack. Screw this it, we're going back with the bike. Much faster. So, uh, I think we've got them all. Uh, how do we, uh... Um, I forget the controls. Uh, I think the... Where's the, uh... Yeah, instructions. Bad dream, wake up... That's not... Okay, five. I would off screen this, but hey, why not on screen? Just dropping all the eggs one more time.
Uh, you know, now I think about it, I remember, like, the theories. But I think I'll go over that in the... After LP talk, or maybe in the extra part. Just like, after reading some of these theories, I can't look at this flute the same way ever again. It's like, gee, thanks, Internet. You and your damn theories. Personally, I still kind of get the feeling that there's probably no real kind of like, uh... Deep meaning behind the game. I think it's probably just like... Purposely made to just be, you know, strange. I mean, not everything is like... It's like that whole kind of typical kind of... You know, just like, what was the author thinking? Were they thinking about how this would symbolize this and that? And it's just like, no, they weren't. They didn't put that deep thought into it, but sometimes they do. If I made a game like this, I'd totally do that. I just... But unlike with this game, just like where it's kind of ambiguous and I don't think the creator of the game has actually said what it's all about or anything like that. I would actually explain if asked, you know? Although, I don't know, someone's bound to have asked the creator, but I have no idea. Not really had a lot of information I could find. Mostly kind of speculation theories and stuff like that. I can fly! You know that song that I mentioned that I wrote in, inspired by this game was pretty much like I had one of the theories about the ending in lines for the end of the song. Which we will see soon enough. Not a song, of course, the ending itself. So we've got all these lovely eggs. Various different types of effects. Most of them serve no purpose whatsoever. Actually, I think the demon one... I never figured out how it works, but I remember reading something about it... Like, teleporting you or something, depending on something. I have no idea. You can't save your game when you're in the dream world. So, how do we pinch ourselves again? Nope. Uh, what button was it? that even come from? Interactive credit sequence? You can press 1 and 3 to, uh, like, make that sound effect. Oh, so it was just one person. Kikiyama, music, sound, graphics, and game production. So yeah, that ending is very, uh... Grim. So, uh, well, there wasn't really much of a credit sequence, really. I mean, only one person made the game, you know? 
So, uh, a lot of theories about the ending. And the more positive one I obviously prefer is that falling off the roof was actually in the dream and that woke her up and she was like trapped in like a coma or some shit and eventually woke up. But I don't know. It could just be... I don't know. But from that, you could also argue just be like she thought she was in the dream, jumped, or she... Although that, that really raises the question, how did that stair get there anyway? I mean, it just, it wasn't there before. If it wasn't a dream, who the bloody hell put it there? She was asleep. So maybe it was still a dream. Man, I hate when a game leaves, like, a very ambiguous ending. Shake a shake a shake a shake a ding a ding a ding a shake a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. Man, this is real sad sounding music. Is it just an A minor chord? Well. Wow. Arpeggio, just like... did that. But man, what can you really say to an ending like that? It's just so abrupt and sudden. You know, it makes me wonder if there's like, there probably isn't obviously, otherwise someone would have found it by now, you know? If there was like, or maybe, I don't know. I mean, it says version 0 0.10. Maybe there was supposed to be like an up date to it and maybe that was just a game over and I have no idea. You know, now that I look at it, uh, can't see the pointer on the screen, so never mind. But right above Yume Nikki there, it looks like a maze. Maybe that's kind of representing it. You know, the big ass giant confusing maze in the game. Maybe there is some purposely put in symbolism or maybe it's all just kind of random. That's the thing, unless a creator, you know, the one who made it, actually explains anything, it's left very ambiguous and it's all up to theory, and that never can satisfy me. Ever. I have to know, you know, what was the creator's intention. It doesn't, like, you could have the most, like, plausible theories, and I'd still be like, no, I can't accept it unless it comes from the creator's mouth themselves, you know? The creator came and just was like, you know what, yeah, it was a lot of symbolism and this is, is how the plot is, and maybe also add just like, but you can believe your own theories and all that, this is just my kind of idea of it, kind of thing, that would have been satisfying. That's totally what I would do if I made a game like this. I'd explain it, but also say, but you can also with your theories like add to it and all that, but that's essentially the idea I had in mind when making the game. That would satisfy me with that kind of knowledge, but no. So, you know, actually I'll go over some of the theories now, actually. A lot of the theories kind of seem to be, um, sexually abused kind of stuff. Like that, I forget. Mado something, I have no idea how to pronounce her, the protagonist's name, was raped essentially, and a lot of the in-game stuff is symbolic in a sexual nature. Some of it kind of seems like that, and it seems like one of the more popular theories, the various versions of it. And the one that bugged me the most, it ruined my freaking enjoyment of the flute, so it were, I will ruin it for you as well. I remember reading about like, 
and the flute symbolizes fellatio. And I'm just like, <laughs> no way, man. But then I saw, and I was like, oh, cannot unsee. The room where you find the flute. I was like, oh god, no way, that freaking damn internet, why? Essentially, there's that abstract looking strange guy sitting there, and his legs happen to be open in a kind of suggestive way. Oh god, cannot unsee. Damn you, internet, why did you do that? Just like... The flute was one of the best things about the game, it was just like lightens the mood and now it's dark, dark and just dreary and just horrid. God damn it internet, why do you make such horrible theories? So yeah, there's like all that and then there's like some theories I suppose would be like, well she's on drugs or they're just like, maybe she's been kidnapped, maybe she's uh, in a coma, that seems to be the more positive one. He's just like, oh, that's real positive that is in a coma. But essentially, if that one would be like, the ending symbolizes her waking up from the coma, which would be the most positive outcome you could possibly get out of it all, I suppose. I mean, it could, like, actually, now I think about it, that guy that got run over, I remember reading, like, about that, just like, and she was in the car crash, and, like, with the person she was in the car with died. But she went into a coma, and the ending symbolizes that she's woken up from the coma. That's that's probably the most positive thing you could get out of it, I suppose. Or there could be the, it doesn't have any meaning, it's just a bunch of random stuff put together to just be abstract, artsy, confusing, strange, surreal, and all that jazz. Because it does happen, you know, stuff like that. But, um... Personally, I think it's either that or the positive one. That's at least like the hopeful side of my mind. Like, come on, man. Don't pull a witch's house on me where it's just like, oh, the ending's drearier and drearier. Just like, no happy ending. But, uh, how do I wrap this up? How are we for time, anyway? 22 minutes. This is the thing, you know. I've, like, looked up theories and all that, but I'm ad-libbing here, you know, just on the spot. I haven't wrote anything down, as I generally tend to do, usually. So I'm just, like, trying to collect my thoughts and just think about what had just happened. And I'm pretty much repeating myself, really, isn't it? It's just like, well, Isla, she couldn't take it anymore and decided to kill herself. Or she was in the dream, or she thought she was in the dream, decided to jump and died, or she was in the dream and that was her way of waking up because pinching wouldn't do anymore. It's probably one of those three, otherwise maybe there's no real meaning. I have no idea. Actually... Nope, she only goes out there when it's like, not in the dream. Well, only goes out there in the dream, so... That kind of adds to it, I suppose. Wait, were these always on the floor? Fuck fate, I'm going back to sleep. You know, in a way, it's like, kind of defeats the ending, really, doesn't it? It's just like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to bed. You know, I wonder if that, if that's it. It's like, well, it's gone now. Wait, actually, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, the instructions are still there. I don't understand that, because it counts as one of the items. So you got all that. You can't drop the instructions, because it's not... It doesn't go into an egg. Well, 
Actually, when you look at it, it seems like there could be a missing one here, but there isn't. Or maybe there was originally, original intention was to have like an extra hidden one that you get to get the happier ending, I suppose. I don't know. You never know, man, you never know. You know, I, I'm just like, yeah, let's see if that'll work here, let's see. Uh, I doubt it'll make any difference. Yep, it's still there. Damn ambiguous ending! That's totally what I'd do. I'd like make it seem like that. I would like make it so once you've cleared the game once and got that ending, like a secret is unlocked where you can find the last egg. That'd be interesting, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But uh just gonna sit down and think. So you know the ad Aztec kind of odd monkey symbolism thing? Still doesn't make sense, even with all the theories, now that I think about it. You know, that that pose reminds me of that um, person that was in the igloo. Like, theory was that it was her when she was younger or something. I don't know about that, though. Let's have one last look at some of the odd stuff in this game. Try to make sense of it now that we've seen the ending. What the hell is this and that? The monkey makes no sense. Nothing makes a lot of sense in this abstract world of dreams. Yeah, that's actually some of the lyrics to that song that I mentioned. Well, not really, but... Like, in this cryptic world of dreams is how I worded it in this song that I wrote. But what are these things? I mean, you could, like, say, like, look, any of the theories, but it doesn't explain everything, and that's the thing. Also, notice the window thing on her shirt. I remember reading about that. And how it's like, basically, like, a window for the player or something like that, and I have no idea. Doesn't really... Well, I'm crap at explaining things, so you just look up the theories if you want to, I suppose. So, the whole monkey business doesn't really make any sense to me. I still don't think I've got... Well... The only explanations that I've seen theory-wise is, like, maybe she had, like, an interest in it, or just, like, when she was younger, like, saw, like, this kind of Aztec stuff and was just, like, fascinated by it or something, but it still doesn't seem plausible enough, honestly. I'd say it's the most bizarre thing about this whole thing, and it really stands out, doesn't it? Kitty, 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 kitty. Wait, can we get the effects twice? Nope, only once. No, screw that. I'm not freaking trying to figure my way around there. You, you know, the overworld and the change in graphics doesn't make any sense, does it? Or maybe it's her love of video games. Who knows? Do, 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 this melody loops forever and ever. And this is gonna go on a lot longer than I thought, if I keep this up. Some bizarre things here, I mean, what does it all mean? I imagine somebody is like, being like, you know what? That's like, that symbolizes a penis. It'd be a pretty odd penis if it was, you know?
You know what I would... I have heard about there being some certain thing that actually adds to the whole theory that she was raped or something like that in this place, but I'm gonna save that for the bonus part instead. But what do these numbers mean? Do they serve any purpose or are they just kind of there? You know, kind of just like, let's create an atmosphere. That's the whole point of the game. And this forest, and again with a creepy thing in the background. I mean, what's actually... Okay, here's add to that the sexual theory is. This symbolizes her vomiting and just complete disgust after the whole thing. There. There's some added to that. I don't particularly like that theory, but there's something for it. But I don't think any of the theories really hold up 100%, because there's a lot of weird shit in this game. I mean, what's that mean in the background there? What does it symbolize? Does it symbolize anything, or perhaps nothing? Do do droning music, drone drone drone, drone drone drone, stuck in your head, drony drony drone. Do 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 bells 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 door 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 door. I'm not gonna explore the worlds like properly or anything. And the puddle world, what the hell does that mean, you know? What significance does it serve? And the dark world. The snow world. What could it all mean? You know, the, uh, what were they called again? Tore something. Those weird, crazy ladies. Like, that one party that we stumbled upon is like... I hear they're symbolizing for social isolation, not being accepted or something. Because you can't actually get there. Well, that's true or not? I have no idea. But seriously, this abstract stuff like this, this is what kind of bugs me the most. Because none of the theories can really give any real decent explanation for it all. Maybe it's just dreams can be really confusing and that's the whole point of the game. And this, I mean, what the fuck is that supposed to be in the background? And all this forms into like a face of the Aztec monkey that's a reoccurring kind of character in this whole thing, and it doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense either, I mean, what the freaking hell is that? It's like hands and the soundtrack just sounds... You know, this is just like, this is how some might say hell would sound like, you know? And perhaps even look like that. Maybe that's what that room symbolizes, but why would it be there? Candle world? What does candle world symbolize? We got the abstract Aztec stuff going on again. And I think I've gone through all the rooms. I haven't explored all the rooms in this part, but hey, I just like... Try to make sense of it all. Maybe add some more to theories. I have no idea. But personally, like I said, I think it's essentially just purposely made that way, just like to be abstract and surreal, because dreams don't always make sense. In fact, dreams often don't make sense. Some of it, when you wake up and you can remember your dream, just like trying to make sense of it, but it could mean nothing, or it could mean something, or it could be nothing. Maybe it was purposely made this way to be ambiguous. There was no kind of... Uh, real concrete idea of what it all means, it's just purposely abstract and surreal. But then the ending, I suppose, is probably what makes it the more kind of just like, so what does the ending mean? Awakening from the dream? Leaving this world to another? Dying? Or awakening? Death? Or awakening from a coma or what? Who knows? 
I can imagine asking the creator of the game just like, so what does all this mean? Hello. Just like, I just put a st- bunch of stuff together. I mean, I was originally going to like, se- no, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. Just like, the creator's like, I was originally going to explain a bit more, but you know what? All these fan theories, they're just too good. I can't possibly explain, like, give the true meaning of it all now because it would kind of ruin it for you because you wouldn't have all these theories. You, I mean, you would, but they wouldn't be, you know, as plausible because, well, I'd have explained what it all means. Who knows, maybe that's the real reason, it's just like, the real re- reason is never revealed because the real reason would destroy the fan theories. Because they'd be like, yeah, it's actually totally nothing like you thought it would be. But honestly, it just seems like a lot of random stuff jumbled into one. So yeah. So, uh... I wonder if I'll like, go over all that stuff in the After LB talk with Echo and everyone like that, just like go over some of the theories. I think I'll actually from now on kind of like write down the After LB talks because seriously, talking, you know, ad-libbing everything kind of makes it big pain in the ass. It's just like After LB talks is supposed to be like talking about the game, but it usually gets off subject because I'm just rambling the whole time. I'm just going from one character to another, just like, Well, that was an uh, interesting game, didn't you think so, you have a Yeah, it was pretty fucking weird. What about you, Kalta? Yeah, it was pretty abstract and surreal, you know, just going from character to character on the spot. No script. So maybe I'll actually write something down so I can actually go over it a bit better, you know? So anyways, hope you enjoyed this somewhat blind LP. I mean, I called it a blind LP, but it... Just like constantly saying throughout the game, just like, you know what, the walkthrough didn't mention anything like this, so I couldn't find anything just like, he's supposed to be blind, man! What are you doing looking at a walkthrough? You know, there still really is no real walkthrough. Well, there is, uh, but it's a pretty straightforward walkthrough. It's like, you know, where the items are, and that's it. It doesn't really explain anything further than that. And that's what confused me, because, like, uh, the flashlight one, well, street lights, where you get that from, I didn't know that you had to have the hand thing to escape areas. I had no idea, because I hadn't actually come across that one at that point. So that's really one of the first ones you should get, really, which is in the hand world. I can't believe I overlooked it so many times, but it was there. You just had to look for the one arm that was reaching out that happened to have an eye on it. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that one. Ha 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 ha. Ow. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this blind LP, and uh, on with the after LP talk. That's all. Hello, and welcome to the after LP talk. We have a bird with us this evening, but uh, he, he does that a lot. Well, anyway, it's been a long time since we last did one of these. Yeah, and you still sound like an idiot. Hey, what was that for insult for? Just get on with a discussion for once. Discussion? What discussion? I think he means that we should talk about the game. But isn't that what we usually do? Now, we usually tend to get off topic and forget to talk about the game itself. Oh, I never noticed that. And that is why you're an idiot. Hey! Let's just get on with it. Don't die. You go first. What? Me? Well, okay then. Well, this game is very surreal and abstract and filled with a lot of strange things. But does any of it have any real meaning? The protagonist, Matatsuki, has very strange dreams and collects effects within those dreams. Why does she have such strange dreams? Why does she collect these random effects? Do those dreams bother her at all? If so, then why does she sleep so much? Does she have a condition or disorder that causes this? Maybe the dreams are the effects of her medication. Medication? Yes, maybe she has a mental illness, or perhaps a different type of illness altogether. Either way it goes, her medication has some side effects that affect her sleeping. But how would that cause her to have such strange dreams? Some medications can have side effects that can cause vivid dreams or nightmares. But what do those dreams actually mean? They could mean anything or nothing at all. It's just speculation, really. I see. But does that mean that the... It is, you know, entirely pointless to try to make sense of this game. 
Hmm, maybe yes and maybe no. It can be fun to try to make sense out of something you know you may never know the true answer to. Whoa, that's deep. When did you become so philosophical? Because Blue Skull Dragon 87 can be a pretty philosophical kind of guy. But why would you be philosophical? That's kind of out of character. Well, I'm very different from the actual Conta from Lucky Star, so how can I be out of character? I don't know what's more confusing, the game itself or this discussion. Well, I suppose I, in a way, sometimes uh, represent its philosophical and down-to-earth side. Whoa! So, what would I represent? His stupid side. Hey! Well, we are just fictional characters that are like mascots for this channel. What about the Blue Skull Dragon VN channel? Well, that one too. We're getting off subject. How the hell did that even happen anyway? Well, it was you who started it. Shut up! I talk about theories. Which one do you guys think is the most plausible? A few of them seem fairly plausible, but like Blue Skull Dragon 87 said, none of them really piece everything together. I prefer the coma theory the most. It would explain how she never seems to do anything but sleep and play games. There are people that do that, though. Yeah, but they do eat and drink and all that. We never see her do anything but sleep and play games. The way the game plays out indicates that she doesn't do anything else. So you're saying that she had been in a dream the whole time? Yeah, like a dream within a dream. Not only that, but some of the stuff you find kind of makes some sense. Such as? Well, for one thing, the body you find on the road could mean that she was in a car accident that killed someone, but she's worked only to fall into a coma. Also, maybe that one girl with the arm sticking out of her head could have been one of the passengers. You know what? What? Fuck it. What? what why? This game has way too much in it to be perfectly explainable. And if you could make sense out of some of it, it wouldn't explain everything in the game. Like what? The Aztec monkey. Uh, oh. Uh, you kinda. you kinda got me on that one. The game was probably made to be abstract and surreal. Much like dreams can be, the window on her shirt is there to indicate that the player is the character, that everyone has strange dreams from time to time. Whoa. That's still just a theory, though. Shit. Well, screw it, I'm out of here. Hey, Evil Blackboard, where are you going? Discussing this game is making my head spin, so I'm out of here. But you're a Blackboard, you don't have a head. That doesn't matter. I'm out of here. <laughs> so, what now? Well, we could discuss some more theories if you're up for it. Sure! Okay then. Now, as you may or may not be aware, there is potentially a lot of sexual symbolism in this game. Um, uh, can we skip those uh, theories? Why? Because that's too depressing! And for the coma theory instead! Oh, speaking of depression, the illness or one of the illnesses that she may be coping with could very well be depression. Maybe the depression was caused when she was re Nope, nope, and whole hell freaking nope. People who suffer from depression can have a number of reasons or no real reason at all for being depressed. Depression is an illness that doesn't always follow simple logic. In fact, it usually doesn't. But she still might have- Nope, 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 and nope, and nope, and nope. I'd prefer a theory where she was abducted by Aztec monkey aliens in that theory. Echo. I think you might be on something there. What? What? That was just a joke and what? Hello? But that's okay. Where's the bathroom? What? Bathroom. Oh, it's over there. Thank you. Sorry if I disturbed you. What was that all about? We could have asked her about the game. Holy crap, why didn't we ask? I guess it was just so random and out of nowhere that we didn't really think to ask. Well anyways, we can just add your theory to the collection of fan theories about this game. What? But I was joking! Even so, it's still just a theory. A game theory. Did you even hear what I just said? Yes, but it still counts. Well anyways, see you next after LP Talk Echo. What? Oh! Well, this was a pretty interesting game, man, after LB Talk. I mean, we usually just tend to be random, but we actually discussed something. Although, to be fair, that bird in the background, yeah, 
He's kind of, he does that a lot nowadays, so LFL will be talks no exception there. Well, anyways, well, that was sure a heck of a discussion, wasn't it? Hope you enjoyed this LP and all its strangeness. That's all for this LP. Well, there will still be a bonus part, but anyway, see you next LP.